Okay, so I apologize in advance if you're trying not to shop. After, it was my birthday last month, and so after this, I, I probably, I'm, a, I'm, a tr I'm really going to try to shop less. Yeah, yeah, that, that probably ain't gonna happen. I just thought y'all might want to see what I picked up. So if you're interested in watching yet another haul from me, then keep on watching. Okay, we are not going to belabor it. It is late, y'all. Like when I say late, it is so dark. My makeup is probably like literally melted off my face by now. So let's get right to it. Let's start with the stuff from MAC Cosmetics. So I went to MAC to pick up a couple things. One was a replacement, which are these gently off wipes with micellar water. I love these. I picked these up. They're 80 sheets per pack. It's the large pack. I have talked about these on my channel before. It comes with this lid mechanism that I actually really, really like. I like these a lot. And so I needed to re-up on those. So I re-upped on those. I also picked up two makeup brushes for MAC. The 196. And this is a flat buffer foundation brush. I have been wanting this brush actually because I thought it would actually be a good brush to buff in my foundations and give me that sort of more airbrushed full coverage look. And I did not have this brush. So that was my logic. And so that is why I picked up the 196. If you already have the 196, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. When I picked up the 196, I actually went to pick up the 171. And this is a slanted foundation brush. It has these dual fiber bristles on it with the pink at the tips. I thought this would be a great brush because of its shape and density to really buff my foundations into my face. I don't have a brush like this in my makeup brush collection. And so I have been wanting to pick up the 171 for some time and I finally got my hands on it. Okay, so the last thing I picked up from MAC, which I'll probably return to be honest, this is a strobe dewy skin tint in the color Deep Three. You probably seen this product all over the interwebs. I picked this up because I thought it would be more like a tinted moisturizer. I haven't tried it yet, so I have no idea, but I kind of feel like I'm not going to like it. Do you know when you feel like that about a product? You're like, I haven't even used it yet, but I feel like I'm not gonna like it. That's how I feel already about this, but we shall see. So those are the items that I picked up from MAC. Let's talk about Ulta because I didn't pick up a lot from Ulta either. I picked up the Morphe Hue Fork blushes. So I picked up four of the colors. I believe there was maybe six colors released in the line. Okay, so I've opened all four of them up. I am not going to swatch them in this video only because I'm going to film a separate video, but I will get close to show you what the colors look like. I picked up one in the color Intoxicated, which is a more of a mauve pink color. Hopefully it's showing up on camera. You can see they almost look like they have this more hypnosis wheel on it. That's probably the skincare product in there. I also picked it up in the color Energize, which is more of a blue-based bright pink. So that is what it looks like here. And then I also picked it up in the color Hypnotized, which seems like the one that definitely goes with this whole theme, this hue fork. And then last but certainly not least, the color that I'm surprisingly most excited about. I usually don't go for a blush this dark, but I picked it up in the color Touched. Look at that. That's all I picked up from Ulta. Let's shift gears now and take a look at what I picked up from Sephora. I'm gonna start with one of the bags here. So I picked up two of the one size On To Dawn setting spray. So I picked up the original size just because I was out. And then I picked up this small travel size because I traveled recently and similarly, I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, which is one of my absolute favorites. If you're new here, I usually pair these two together. So I picked up the large size. This one is a wetter formula if you're unfamiliar and the one size onto Dawn is more of a aerosol can formula. So it's a drier one. I usually will use the Charlotte Tilbury product first on my face, just to kind of meld everything together. And then I'll go in with the one size onto Dawn to really lock it all in place. So those 
Ooze setting sprays were picked up during my haul. So I picked up another Tatcha cleanser. And if you watch my last haul, you're probably thinking, why did you pick up another cleanser? This cleanser is the Matcha Cleanse. So the Matcha Cleanse is new. I saw the promotion on it when it was released a little while ago. So it looks very similar to the Deep Cleanse. It's a daily gel cleanser with Japanese matcha and a number of other skincare ingredients. I swear by the brand Tatcha overall and their cleansers in particular. So now let's talk about this Mario lip liner. So this is a ultra suede sculpting lip pencil in the color Milk Chocolate from the brand Makeup by Mario. If you're not new here, you know that I love me some Mario products down. So it comes with a very cute, tiny little pencil sharpener. So what I love about the Mario pencils is that on one end, there's the actual traditional pencil, which you see here, which I'm going to do a swatch of, which is in this beautiful milk chocolate color. And then on the other end, there is this blender brush that you can use to blend the lip liner into the lip. So here I'll go ahead and come in so that you can see what that color looks like. So just this beautiful milk chocolate color. I am a huge fan of the Mario lip liners. I own a couple of them, but I had not picked up the milk chocolate, so I thought that I would pick that up. So I also picked up another lip liner. This is from the brand Makeup Forever, and it is one of their artist pencils, which I love. This is in the color Versatile Chestnut, very warm. Yeah, that is mauve. That's almost like mauve burgundy. Here, I'll let you be the judge. This versatile chestnut is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It has a red color in it. So I picked up another lip liner. This one is from the brand Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH. This is my first ABH lip liner and it is in the color Malt. It is also a brown. It's warm, but also cool. I have been wanting to pick up Malt and so I picked it. Uh, picked up the glycolic acid exfoliating toner from the brand The Ordinary in 7%. I thought I'd try it out on some of my skin issues and so that is the plan. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Hydra Hues Tinted Moisturizer with 30% SPF. I picked it up in the number six. So, so I picked up both the refill and then you have to buy the case separately if you did not know. So here is the, the actual refill in the color that I selected, which is number six, by the way. And here it is inside of the little case. We will see how this Fenty product goes, but you know I had to pick that up. Okay, let's move to the second bag. And there's a lot in this bag, y'all. So this is the NARS Light Reflecting Makeup Setting Mist. It's pretty new. You know, of course it's NARS, so the packaging eats down. It's so cute. We'll see if it compares to Miss Charlotte Tilbury, honey, because it is similar. It's a wet makeup setting mist. It's from their light reflecting line. So in general, I like the light reflecting products. They're on the lighter side, I swear by so much NARS. I love NARS. It's probably one of my favorite makeup brands. And so I had to pick that up. All right, the other thing that I picked up, finally, the Danessa Myricks Original Groundwork Palette in the color Defining Neutrals. Oh, look at the packaging. Talk about eating down. Beautiful. If you're familiar with this product at all, there are two different formulas. I believe one is more like a traditional powder and then the other one is kind of like their blurring bomb formula, which is that cream to powder matte finish. And you can use this palette if you're unfamiliar with it for eyes, brows, lips, and face. And so it just has so many use cases. You do really have a broad range of neutral colors in this palette. So everything from this deep, black here in the upper corner all the way down to this light tan color in the lower corner here i am really excited about using that palette i've not been excited about a palette in a while one of the next products that i picked up was the sephora puff i had no reason to pick this up i usually pick these up from amazon but i was up at the front and they got me at the front oh that feels luxurious it feels like velour honey it's also a lot bigger. I'm going to compare it at some point to the Amazon Puff. It's got a little pocket on there, so you can put your finger in this little pocket, and it has this little ribbon that you can put your finger in, which is what I'm accustomed to with the other puffs. Okay, Sephora, I mean, this was like $8 or something, so that was definitely still a little bit of a ripoff, but it's definitely giving quality right out the package. We'll see. 
Okay, y'all, being under these lights got me hot. We gotta get through this. I still got a lot of makeup to go. Okay, this is a recent purchase. I think I picked this up today. So this is the Fenty Beauty Hot Cheeks Velour Blush Lighter. It's like a combination between a blush and a highlighter. So it's a hybrid. Look at this color so you can see it. Let's do a nice swatch of the product. First, let's show you what it looks like on the finger. Look, so very, very pigmented. Look at that color. Oh, that is a blush lighter. It's in the color Baked Peach, which is this dark peachy color. I think this is the darkest color that is available. I think there were only like maybe three or four in the line, maybe three. This is the Beauty Blender. This is just a Beauty Blender. I love me a Beauty Blender. I picked up the Limoncello color. So this is a limited edition if I'm not mistaken. I love me a Beauty Blender and it's yellow. I always need another one. So it, it was a no brainer to snag that up when I snagged it up. So I picked up both the new Mario and the Say Beauty Liquid Bronzers. I picked the Mario product up in dark. It's funny, I ordered these as soon as they came out. Picked them both up. I was supposed to film a video, did not do it. I was traveling, it was crazy, y'all. It's okay, it's like a bazillion of them on the internet already. This is the color dark. This, if you're unfamiliar, since I'm, who knows if I'll do a video, it has the Dofa applicator on one end, which is really cool, and I'm gonna swatch it on my the back of my hand. And then it also has the pump applicator too. That's really cool, I do like that it has both. I would probably use more of the Dofa. So that's the color, definitely dark is my color from Makeup by Mario. I use that for this color for all my bronzers. I'm just gonna blend it in here with my hands so that you can see. I like it okay. I think I like the Say one even better. I did try the Say one on. It's funny, I picked up the Say in two colors because I ordered online. I wasn't sure which would be best for my skin tone. I picked up Stinson and I picked up Sale. So here they are in the boxes. I think that the right color for me is Stinson. I think Sale is too cool. So here are the two colors. I'm not even sure why I thought Sale was my color at all. I think Stinson is clearly my color. I'm going to swatch them both and perhaps you can let me know in the comments down below which color you think is for me. So they come in this cute little dope with these cute little Dofa applicators. They're very different. So the one at the top here is Stinson and the one at the bottom is Sale. And clearly not only is Sale just too dark for me, it's also too cool tone. So I'm gonna blend them in with my fingers here to show you what that looks like. I will say I love the Say product better than the, the Mario, like hands down. So again, at the top is Stinson and at the bottom is Sale. Let me know what you think. I just tend to like the warmth a little bit more from the one at the top. And then also I feel like this one's a little deep. It looks a little deep and a little muddy on me. I feel like the one at the top is clearly a winner for me. Comment down below if you ended up swooping them up and let me know what you think about them. I've been on a bronzer buying kick, y'all. Oh, speaking of, I picked up a powder bronzer. This is a replacement from the line Makeup by Mario. It is what they call the Soft Scope Bronzer. And I picked it up again in the color Dark. And I love this, I forgot about this. I didn't even remember. I love this product, y'all. I'm gonna rub it on the back of my hand. It is warm. It might not look like it, shows up very much, but it does when you put it on. Um, for me anyways, because the color works for me. I love the product packaging, it's just always fire. This one is a warm, soft, more subtle powder bronzer, and I just love bronzer. Like, I am a bronzer girly through and through, so I had been out of this one, and so I thought I would pick it up again, so that's what I did. So I picked up two more of the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Blush Sticks, and I thought that I had one out, which I'm gonna show you. We're gonna swatch them all. Yes, I have the color Raspberry. I featured this in my last haul. And then I realized how much I love these, y'all, and they released two new colors. And so I think I grabbed them both because I liked them. So I picked up one in the color Watermelon, and I picked up the other one in the color pomegranate. So this is the color watermelon. It's a fuchsia, that's exactly what it is. Let's look at pomegranate. So that is what that looks like. This I'm surprised because I don't usually go this deep in the cream. I definitely have deep powder blushes like this, but typically I'm on the pinky coral side. 
So that is watermelon at the top, that's pomegranate at the bottom. And then let's compare it to the sister raspberry who I had got previously, who is definitely a hot pink. She don't wanna be left out, honey. Beautiful, beautiful. I love a cream blush and then to top it with a powder blush. So I typically take a blush brush like this and dab it right on the product and then just dab it on my face. It's probably gonna lift my makeup up, but it don't matter because this makeup been on all day and I'm gonna take it off. So yeah, look, a live demo. So that was the color pomegranate. So you can tell the new ones, they changed, they put these little stickers on the bottom. I just had to have them. So I picked up the Travel Size Sephora Pro Foundation Brush in the number 70.5. The full size is a 70. So I featured this in my last haul and I just went back because I wanted the travel size. It's from their Pro Brush line, which I swear by. Sephora brushes eat all the way down. This is supposed to provide you a full coverage. You can use it with liquid, cream, and stick foundation products. I use the large one, the 70, I love it. So I knew I would like the 70.5. So, and it's a little cheaper too. These are four of the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms in the color Ice Coffee. And um, one of these is going to go to one of you lovely folks. I really appreciate you all being a part of my uh, little growing family, my people. I love makeup. I just love being able to get on the internet and talk makeup with people who love makeup just as much as I love it. So anyways, I am going to gift one of you one of the Summer Fridays Lip butter bomb. Yeah, one fell on the floor. Next thing that I picked up was from the brand House Labs, apparently. I forgot that I picked this up. So this is one of their Color Fuse Glassy Blush Balm. Everyone's doing the stick blush. So this is similar to the blush that I just showed you from Makeup by Mario. This is in the color Glassy Pattaya, and it is a fuchsia color, like bright fuchsia. So it's a lot smaller than the Mario product though. Let's swatch it here on the back of my hand. I think that that's going to look very pretty on the face and it stains too. When you wipe it off your hand, it's, it stains. So this is the one size ultimate setting powder in the color Ultra Peach. I'm a huge fan of the one size setting powders. So this one is a peach. Even though I have the Huda Beauty Peach, I wanted to try one size too because they are fire. It is just a rich peach color. And I think they released like three or four new colors. I'll let you know what I think. Picking up the Anastasia Cream Bronzer. I bought this probably at the first of the month. I didn't even remember. I had this a long, long time ago in the wrong color. I picked it up in the color chestnut this time. I, it was too deep, the color I had before. Of course, the Anastasia packaging is so cute. Look at that. Look at that. That is a, a warm cream bronzer. And I am going to absolutely swatch this for you. You don't even have to ask me to. There it is. There's the ABH cream bronzer. First impressions is that it is very creamy. It blends so well. It's warm, it's not cool, it looks deep enough. I'm excited about this one. But I forgot about these. Okay, these are the blushes that I picked up from the brand Kosas. So these are the Blush Is Life Baked Dimensional and Brightening Blushes. They remind me of the MAC Mineralized Blushes, which are oldy but goody. I picked one up in the color Adrenaline and I picked the other one up in the color Thrill. So Adrenaline is very much a pink fuchsia color. First, let's just look at the package. Let's admire this beautiful packaging that Kosas has brought us. It feels hefty. These feel incredible. So these are definitely pigmented. Like don't let the baked aspect of them fool you. They have the marbling on them so you know they're baked. Let's swatch it while I'm at it. And I'm gonna try to really go in. And look, I'm messing up my beautiful design. That's how much I love you. Let's take a look at Adrenaline here. So this same packaging, but this one is a, my favorite, which is a coral. Let's see, they might describe it. So this one is a vibrant blood orange. <laughs> Excuse me, blood orange. Say, I'm not coral, I'm blood orange. Um, these are gorgeous. These are the Lawless Forget the Lip Filler Lip Pumping Lip Glosses. I picked up one in the color Daisy Pink and one in the color Lavender Sorbet. I can't believe I have not picked these up before. So here is this one. This is a baby, like a cotton candy pink. 
And then the last one, which is this lavender sorbet, it's a lavender pink. Here's to them looking similar, but I promise you being different. Like I promise you they're two different colors. I don't care how similar they look on my hand. Clearly they look different in the tubes. At the bottom that's daisy pink and up at the top that's the lavender sorbet. I promise they're very cute. They not given on the back of the hand. I know you would have to use a lot. You don't get a lot in these, so I, I, I gotta be sensible about this. Like, they, it ain't like they're cheap, cheap. So anyways, those are the two Lawless Lip Glosses. I picked up the Huda Beauty Lip Gloss. This is the Faux Filler Ultra Shine Lip Gloss. And I picked it up in the color Sugar Baby. So that's the beautiful packaging here. It is also a pink lip gloss. You might be like, why did you have to pick up another pink lip gloss that also looks like a baby pink? You know, just support me. Yeah, yep, it's a cute one. I had to pick this one up. That was everything. Thank you so much for watching if you are still here at this point. Until next time.